Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I make my red cucumber salsa and this recipe is perfect for snacking or for dinner and the best part is that you don't have to turn on your stove top for this one. For this recipe you'll need three cucumbers, three carrots, one jalapeño, one serrano, three juicy tomatoes, half a purple onion, a small bunch of cilantro, one green onion, five chiles de arbol, the juice of one lemon, optional but not necessary for this recipe, one can of E8 juice and half a cup of clamato. And you can't forget some salt and pepper. To your blender you want to add your clamato, your V8 juice, kids you're getting veggies today, add two tomatoes, un jalapeño, y un serrano, your chiles de arbol, the juice of one lemon or lime, and today I am using Meyer lemons. Anytime I find Meyer lemons, I enjoy them. I get like two bags because they're a specialty. They're your favorite kind of lemons, right? Second favorite. Second favorite? My first favorite is el limón real, Ooh. which is a Mexican style um, lemon, and it has like, kind of like you would have acne scars on the outside, yep. but I love that look, so. You think you know someone and then they change up on you and <laughs> decide to move Meyer lemons to number two. Oh, they smell so good. Optional to balance out the spice, I like to use a little bit of ketchup. Don't look at me that way. It was a ketchup bottle. <laughs> and now you want to blend until smooth. Oh yeah! And boom, done. I like to finely chop my onions and then I start finely chopping my tomato. Finely chop your green onion. Finely chop your cilantro. I peel my carrots and then I start grating them. I like to choose the larger holes instead of the smaller ones. If you use the smaller ones, it's gonna get lost. And the same for the cucumbers. Peel them and cube them up. And once you're done chopping your veggies, you wanna place them in your bowl. I really love this salsa because it looks just like confetti and glitter, it's just perfect. Before I pour this in, I want to tell you, if you see Meyer lemons, get them. The aroma in this home right now is absolutely delicious. Once you calm down about how delicious the Meyer lemons smell, you want to pour in your sauce. And let me tell you, this salsa in the blender is good on its own. Don't sleep on the ketchup. Do not sleep on it. Next, you want to salt to taste. My recommendation is half a tablespoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Now give that a loving fold and start mixing your ingredients. Yummy, yummy, who's ready for a delicious taste? You can make your own corn chips and I showed you on our last salsa video which I'll link in the description area, but I know you work really hard and since we're not cooking today, why not treat yourself to some Doritos, oh yeah! Let me show you how I like to enjoy this salsa. I take a tostada and I squeeze a little of mayonnaise don't look at me like that. Some of you are like, Steph, why? It's a Mexican thing, okay? It's una mexicanada. Place your salsa over it. And boom, done. We're ready to snack. I'm very messy when I eat tostadas. Uh, so if you guys don't like that, please look away. I don't want to insult you today. Buen provecho. <laughs> Thank you. This has been our favorite snack while we're watching our Netflix shows or our Hulu shows. Mm. Like I said, I get messy. On our previous salsa video, la salsa de pepino, a lot of people said they didn't trust you with the Doritos and now it's been a go-to for them. I get really getting is. messages. Of the, you know, I can't believe that I doubted you, Steph. This is so good. This combination is so good. The kids don't even know they're having this many vegetables. You didn't turn on the stove. You don't have to clean that many dishes. And honestly, you should be making this once a week, especially if you're eating out. I don't want to get bossy mommy, but I will. You pointed at me and got bossy mommy. Mm -hmm. I'm in trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. That is so good. You would think that this is super spicy because of the peppers that we add in here, but it's not. The ketchup and the V8 juice really balance all the flavors. And I think you're going to absolutely love this recipe. Mmm. Look away, why is still coming though? And if you're wondering why I went with Cool Ranch Doritos for this recipe, it's because the creaminess, that ranch flavor from the Doritos really balances out the sweetness that you get from this salsa. So let me know what you guys think and if I changed your mind on it.
As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you and we want to give a special shout out to each and every one of you because we wouldn't be here without you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.